What's up guys, it is Tad the Game here today and today's video is going to be us on Battlefield 2042 where we talk about all things that are coming in Season 6 and more. And before we do that, you know what to do, hit that like and subscribe button that lets me know that you like the content and you want more and no further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, first we're going to talk about the vehicle changes that are coming to the game and as you can see on screen, you see that the vehicle gravity for the tanks has been adjusted after and before and also the turn speed for the tanks as well also some more information on the vehicles it says here vehicles will no longer come into a sudden halt while turning without acceleration and we have changes on the emkv 90 tour tank and it says here it won't be able to perform one shot kills against light air vehicles such as jets night birds and stealth helicopters beyond 330 meters and attack choppers beyond 280 meters now guys to be honest with you i really do like these changes because the tour tank is being abused a little bit but that's a good thing so let's get into the next topic where they have fixed the angel crate that you call in and it says here angels loadout crate will no longer rubber band while parachuting down via call-in system season six update includes weapon changes and soldier improvements so stay tuned for more details now guys this has also been a problem when you do have angel where you call in his crate and it just like goes back and forth and like it just looks so bad when you're playing it just makes it worse for their immersion in the game uh, I think this happens with a couple other vehicles as well. I hope they fix that as well. And the next big changes that are coming in 6.0 is the inconsistency of recoil for the reticle for weapons. And as it says here, it says address the inconsistency between crosshair and recoil, high fire rate weaponry, improve the filling consistency of all weapons comp compensating for the recoil bursting and the crosshair will stay much closer to the center at all times. And as you can see on screen, you see that it's much tighter, much in the groupings, instead of it being all over the place as you can see before. Now this did take a long time, even though this was discovered by a YouTuber named by Enders, but I am glad they finally adjusted this and actually fixed this. I think this will improve a lot of gameplay when it comes down to gunfights and everything, especially from the long range. It does suck when you have all this recoil going everywhere and the reticle not being where it's supposed to be. Now the next change they made is to the recon class and it says here added a weapon proficiency to the sidearms alongside sniper rifle proficiencies and the secondary proficiencies will function all weapons combinations as recon ARs and SMGs and will let you deploy your secondary at a faster rate. Thank God they are making some uh, more improvements on the secondaries. I think they're kind of lackluster compared to previous years. Now. Now this is continuing with ARs in the recon class as also LMGs. So you don't have to worry about it not working for other guns as well. Now guys, we're gonna talk about the new map redacted where it was leaked of the map of itself, like the points and stuff, which you can see on screen right here is basically like, you know, Metro and Operation Logger, which is a, I think is cool, which I cannot wait to play. And also we're going to talk about the new change they did to Ryle and it says here Ryle's hacking ability has been reworked. It will no longer disable the firing function on your vehicles, but triggering all damage states on targeted vehicle enemies hack with Ryle's ability will reveal information on nearby soldiers when they die. And also it says here an additional note dice will also adjust the MPN grenades and cast a recon drone to match the new hacking behavior. And now we're going to talk about all the new content that is coming in the new season. And we're going to start with first is the weapons, which I will just show you on screen right here where we have a new assault rifle, new DMR, finally, and also a new pistol as well. And now let's talk about the new vehicle. And it says here the YUV2 Pondhawk new vehicle, two person transport that is noted for its high speeds to help you get both in and out of combat. The Pondhawk will not be available redacted as is an infantry map, but only multiplayer maps. And also we're going to get a Halloween event, which will be basically might be a zombies mode because at the end of the trailer, you do hear this. Now, from what I saw right there, I thought in my head it might be a zombies mode and it might not. It is what it is, but let's continue on. 
And also, as you can see on screen, I do have all the, the things where they'll be in the season content, you know, like cosmetics and stuff like that. But hey, guys, that is it for the video. Now, what do you think of this new season? Are you going to play it or not? Let me know below in the comments below, because I know for sure I'm going to play it. You know, I like Battlefield. I like playing it regardless how bad it is. It is what it is. But like always, you know what to do. Hit that like and subscribe button. That lets me know that you like the content and you want more. And it is that the game here. And I'm out. Peace.